So it looks like the Marvels is not doing well at the box office whatsoever. And I wanted to sort of take a look at this, maybe look at the reasons why and sort of break down what is exactly happening. So um, currently the Marvels is having the lowest MCU um, opening ever. It opened with $47 million domestically, which is the lowest um, domestic opening for an MCU film in history of the MCU. So that's, you know, quite jarring. And worldwide, it only opened with $110 million. So starting off extremely, extremely low for a Marvel film. You know, there are a lot of aspects to take into account, which I will discuss. But, you know, um, initially, these numbers look pretty bad, especially comparing to the, comparing them to something like Guardians of the Galaxy, which um, opened to $180, $118 million domestically and $290 million worldwide. So, you know, comparing that to the last Marvel movie, it's obviously like a $100 million gap, like 200, basically nearly a $200 million gap in the box office between this Marvel film and the last one. And so there are a lot of things to think about when taking this into, into account. I first off want to say that um, I enjoyed the film, but I'm going to take away, I'm going to take my personal opinions of the movie away just in order to look at this from like a, you know, like a ob objective um sort of point of view but I just want to preface that I did really enjoy the film but I think I'm an outlier because looking at the um, audience re audience reactions and audience responses this is another another you know middling MCU film another MCU film that's just not liked by the mo by the majority of people you know it has a 60% on Rotten Tomatoes and actually has an 85% um, audience score so that could signify the general audience the people that did go see it enjoyed it but you know hardcore Marvel fans most of them aren't enjoying it. I know this film has a like pretty strong fan base on Twitter, which I, you know, I'm basically a part of. Like I really enjoyed the film. I, you know, I'm I really enjoyed the film. But again, I consider myself an outlier. I don't consider myself representative of the general audience and even of the hardcore Marvel fan community just based on my personal enjoyment. And so yeah, and you know, there are a lot of factors to go into this. You know, people are gonna initially say, oh, it only failed because people are sexist and they just hate women and these people are rooting for this to fail. I think there is something to be said about that. I think there is a certain group of people and there is a certain corner of the internet that was rooting for this film to fail and that, you know, hates Brie Larson and like just, you know, hates diversity and calls this movie woke and things like that. Stupid stuff, right? And so the movie does have that going against it, that there is a corner of the internet that is just rooting against it just based on stupid, stupid reasons. And so that is a factor to consider, but I don't think it's the um, primary reason as to why this movie is failing you know i mean it's the lowest mcu box office opening ever and there's a reason for that and i'm going to go into them so another reason for this which i think is possible is that this was released during a strike and the actors were not able to promote the film and so naturally you're going to get less and less interest and less and less coverage of the film because the actors are not available to promote it and i think a lot of people um are not talking about this and not specifying that this is this Marvel film was released during a strike, you know, there was no promotion for this film whatsoever, the ad campaign was underwhelming, and there was no interviews, no, no, none of the cast were talking about it, I mean, they're talking about it now, but the moment's passed, the, the hype and the build-up for the movie has ended, and so right now you're just left with the what's left of this movie and what you can salvage, this is what the cast is trying to do now, they're trying to salvage this into a situation which could be profitable, which honestly I doubt it would be. I think the budget for this film was $270 million, and so... I think they'll. I think they'll probably make it back. You know, overall, but I don't know if they're going to make a profit. You know, let's see if this film makes money or not. I, 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 I really want to say I don't think they're going to lose money, but I just don't want to say anything definitive. So yeah, I just, I'm, I'm assuming that it's at least going to break even. That's where my assumption lies. But yeah, the film was released during a strike. Actors were not able to promote it. The lack of promotion is definitely, definitely a factor that's happening. Also, you know, other things like lack of faith in the MCU and the last few films haven't been that good. I mean, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy was great, but I think, you know, Secret Invasion could have left a sour taste in people's mouths and Ant-Man Quantumania, which, you know, just was a dumpster fire. So I think this movie is leagues better than Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. But, um... Yeah, so, but again, people are soured by the Marvel brand at this point. The oversaturation, the lack of quality, it's all stuff to consider. And also, I've got to tell you, even though I enjoyed this film, it's, 
I think Marvel with this movie is they were appealing to a very specific demographic, right? I still think that someone like me, a, you know, a white male, can um can relate to this film and enjoy it, and I did. And so I think there is something to be said about the argument where people are like, oh, you know, it's not for men. Men aren't. It's this movie wasn't made for men. And I guess the people I can initially see why they think that, especially because you know there are no like um you know heavy male leads. Like there's it's Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson, but he's he's barely in the movie. And there's no really like um, draws for men in this film. Even though um, Marvel is like a, a male dominated brand, I guess, it's this film seems to be appealing specifically to women, I guess. And to like, you know, I guess younger women, like little girls. I, you know, I, I again, I feel weird saying that because I love the movie, but I, well, I wouldn't say I loved it, but I, I really enjoyed the movie. So I guess I feel weird saying that, but still it feels like it's appealing to a very specific demographic and I guess I don't want to say you're alienating some of your audience because the majority of the films in the MCU have been led by white men and you know men in general so I don't want to say you're alienating the male audience because they're just not you know they're not they made one film that's sort of not um you know specifically appealing to the male audience and again what would why, why should that stop someone from relating to the film you know because it's, it's all subjective and it's all the human experience and yeah anyway um but yeah I still think that that it but you know nevertheless I still think it's a factor going into the box office of this film that a lot of these men are not are just not relating to this film and that's fair it's listen it's fair if they're just like oh this isn't for me you know it's it, it wasn't made this clearly you know is not targeting me I, that's fair you know I that's I see people saying that and I'm I agree with that or well, I don't agree with it but I you know I understand it what I don't understand is people who are like, oh, this is just, you know, woke MCU diversity stuff, you know, feminism, like, that's just, that stuff is just stupid, right? It's very stupid. But, you know, there are fact multiple factors that go into this. I'm very disappointed that it didn't make a lot of money because I really enjoyed the movie, like I said. But there are a lot of factors to look into, you know. Um, it was It's not appealing, to, it's not, doesn't have great male appeal for men. It um, was not able to be promoted. And, you know, it's not getting the best reactions overall quality-wise. Like, imagine if this movie was truly, like, great. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 level great. I wonder if it would even still make more money because of those factors that I mentioned. But still, it's still um, important to note that the movie is not getting the best reviews. It's getting very mixed reviews. So, yeah. Um, that's it for this video. I really did just want to sort of break down that this is the lowest MCU box office opening weekend ever which i think is crazy and marvel do they do need to shift gears you know because marvel is just having a lack of quality they gotta they gotta fix it you know this is a problem and i hope this is a wake-up call for them but anyway that's it for this video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed please like and subscribe i really appreciate it leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts on the situation did you enjoy the film did you not um also turn on post notifications so you don't miss when i upload thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye